up guys, it's me, Onika321, here with yet another tutorial. This time, actually, actually, <clears throat> I'm gonna say, imagine you're in your tech at survival server, right? It's a PvP server, you've made yourself a town with, a re with reinforced wool, so imagine it's completely filled up with reinforced stuff. So, um, a nuclear explosion can't really affect anything behind it. And you've got your beautifully well set wall where you can hide behind it and shoot people while they come, come at you. However, there's a problem. When people come too close, you can't do anything, can't you? And if they come too close, something like this could happen. Don't want that, don't we? So, I've got a solution for your your problem. It's called the, t the Tesla Cannon. Yeah, yeah, I said it right. The Tesla Cannon is an awesome piece of technology in... I forgot which thing it's in. I think it's... Billcraft? It's the one that has teleport... It's the one that uses teleporters. Basically, a... a um, I'm going to show you a, te a um, Tesla Cannon. Tesla cannon is this beautiful Tesla coil actually. <laughs> That's how you make a Tesla coil: a medium voltage transformer, two reinforced iron, an electronic circuit, and five redstone. It takes a maximum volt, volt um, energy. You, you could say voltage actually of um, 125, and it affects a four block radius around it. So if I place it one here and then change it to, n to normal and then be very very mean and spawn a slime slimes don't really die fine so mean <laughs> so we spawn a slime nothing happens yay that's supposed to happen should I tell you why because you need to power it with redstone. Once once you powered it with redstone, it takes 5,000 energy units and drains 2 per second. So now, as you see, it kills stuff. Yay, killing stuff. <laughs> and it's extremely efficient. It affects, it's like an, a blast area radius around it. it. It obliterates everything. Basically. So... It's got a radius. It's got an area radius of four. So, one, two, three. so if I'm standing here, it would still hurt me. But if I'm standing here, it doesn't. Yay. Um. Other than that, it does six hearts of damage. Yeah, six hearts of damage. So that's quite a lot. And really, you only you it yeah it explodes if you put it next to a high voltage transformer. Boop. <laughs> As I said. Transformer. You can use a medium voltage transformer, but because I, the way I am, you use I use a low low volt, voltage one. <laughs> so I've managed to die in my pit. I don't know why or how or what, but oh no, it's just client start eyeing. That one didn't work. It never does. <laughs> oh well. Never. I don't need to try that again. I hope. <clears throat> if my voice is recorded this time. Anyhow, so this is going to stop people from running up to your wall and setting up an explosive either underneath or using a destruction catalyst next to your wall. Either way, it probably is griefing, but if you're on a survival ser PvP server, then it's probably allowed. So, what you do is now, you can set up a whole ar area of stuff where you use... um. Fi glass fiber, glass fiber, or whatever wire you'd like to use. I like using glass fiber because it's so damn efficient, and because it's only pieces of glass everywhere. And just st stick it in, stick it under the wall. What I would recommend is putting it one block under, so each Tesla cannon, Tesla coil is over there. And have a. You don't have to do this. You can put one every everywhere if you want. Really want to. 
but I would recommend doing that so it affects people who are next to your wall and it doesn't kill people that are on your side and if anything you should really put it here if you if you if you feel that strongly against your enemy you're like I hate you I want to kill you I want to eat your soul and stuff like that don't know why you would say the last bit probably you would because eating souls is painful apparently and souls are very very tasty not that I know of course not that I know of course I haven't eaten about 50 souls anyhow um I'm going off topic again no so you will have and what I say is that about have a free gap or a two gap if you want to so it's all on one line nearly One second. Um and um yeah. So you have this free gap and such blah 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 blah. So now you've got all that, you can start powering them. I'm just going to simply use repeaters and every single one of these would now take as soon as they're powered takes 5000 EU which sounds quite a lot but if you look at the amount of EU you can get it's not that much and every single time it fires it recharges with 5000 EU so yeah it's 5000 EU for everything other than when it's on its default thing where it's waiting for you to use it then it just is left with a timer where it's like eats up 2 EU every single second so you place this underneath your wall you place your repeat redstone repeater next to it of course you would hide it of, of under the wall but because it's um, only only for practices practices practice practice a tutorial I'm not going to bother so you can actually see what I'm doing because I'm that nice apparently apparently and apparently I don't need souls big apparently <sighs> so um, you add all this on you add this and it should have zapped 5000 e EU from somewhere. Yeah, that's. Oh yeah, that's because it's daytime. Now start ticking up to ticking two EU from somewhere. Maybe. Apparently not. Hmm. Hmm. You saw it work earlier, didn't you? Yes, you did. Brilliant. Okay, and you can see this works. <laughs> Apparently. So if I start putting skeleton spawn eggs in places. See? Insta-kill. It's like a blast radius. It's like um, if you were like me and you were playing the Flash games. It's like one of those towers which has a pulsating radius effect. So with enough power, you can survive the whole night. See, so look. It takes two, some power, every now and then, apparently. And this thing just eats everything. Any single entity, any single mob, including players, in the full radius around it, gets six heart of damage. So yeah, it's quite a lot. Anything else you want to know? How to make it? Sure. I should have said it the first thing, shouldn't I? Yes, I should have, for damage. I probably did, but again, if you missed it, five redstone, two refined iron, one medium voltage transformer, which is just two copy cables and a machine block. Machine block is eight pieces of re of refined iron and blah 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 blah. blah. Another stuff, another beautiful stuff like that. All you do is power it. You are brilliant if you had a storage because so you don't have to be constantly draining resources. And heck, it starts powering. 
after you apply a redstone current it, to it of course. Anything else? Not really. So now you have really well defended walls where you can now run around up and down with your bow with your bow bow actually last time bow and arrow you can go around and s snipe a skeleton hit a zombie instead so they don't get warded up to you apparently because I'm in creative mode still or you can kill a spider ah oh, these are not getting pissed off of me so many fails as someone correctly pointed out to me to me a few a few episodes ago oh, and by the way they, they don't get hit that's annoying come on someone come at me well I was actually not meant to hit them hit her boop nope nope too low oh well Nothing's been attracted. Nothing likes me. So I'm just... Oh yeah. <laughs> I forgot that kills me. Whew, now I have to find my way back. <laughs> South, I think. Anyhow, I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Always, as always, if you want to help me a little bit, leave a like, comment, rate, subscribe. I'm going to be messing around with this NPC village now and killing every single villager in sight. Nah, I'm joking. Anyhow, this is me, Onika321, signing out. Peace out, guys.